Hello everyone, I am Harsha. Now we are going to see the experiment in the virtual lab which was sponsored by the IIT Karakpur, the Jinnar diode as a line regulator. In the as we see on, on the screen, we have to I will say the numbers for which we have to give the connection. First, one three, next four seven, next eight and fifteen, next ten and fifteen. Next connection to 11 and the 17. Next connection 5 and 17. And the next connection 6 and 18. And next connection 18 and 16. Next connection 13 to 15. And the next connection 14 to 19. And finally, the final connection from 16 to 9. Hence, the Circuit completed. This is the correct connection. OK. Click on OK. Now we have to uh, set the values as the GNR voltage, series voltage and the line that means the load voltage. After setting the all three voltages, voltages and the resistances, then we furtherly going to the check as we vary the DC voltage. The output of the Zener voltage should be the constant. This is the working how we will get the output. That means the constant it will regulate the voltage. That means the as we supply more voltage, then the voltage which is output of the Zener diode that should be maintained constant. Now, as the keeping RL the line load voltage and the series voltage next furtherly we are change uh, setting the zener voltage at what voltage it should be fixed after setting all these voltages next further we have to proceed the increasing the dc voltage now we will see what happened if we increase the dc voltage after some time yes the first value gets added when I changed the DC voltage. Same as I mentioned above, now we have to vary just the DC voltage and take the readings. Click on add on table. Now finally, when we complete the taking 15 readings, then the further we have to go to plot the graph. The graph should be what? Can any guess? Yes, it should be a straight line. What you guess that is correct. After completing the 15 readings, then click on plot and get the graph of the above experiment that it should be the straight line. Hence, the experiment got completed. Take a printout with Ctrl plus P. And now, thank you for watching. Next. We have uploaded two more videos, the BJT input and output characteristics separately. You may go through the videos for the two remaining virtual labs. The experiment is same, but we have to, for BJT, we have to get both input characteristics and output characteristics so that we have taken two separate videos. Now, after taking Next, two, we have to, yeah, now taking the reading is completed. Now, finally, the plotting of the graph also completed. V yes and V not. Yes, we got a straight line. And thank you for watching once again. Let me soon.